Interactive Feed Forward for improving performance and maintaining intrinsic motivation in VR exergaming. High intensity interval training has emerged as a time efficient alternative to traditional aerobic exercise. We developed a virtual reality exergame which gamifies cycling based high intensity interval training. Short bouts of high intensity exercise are interspersed by low intensity exercise. However, Previous research has shown that hard, intense exercise reduces pleasure. So how can we motivate exergamers to work at high intensity? We proposed to use interactive feed forward, a psychological training technique to help exergamers achieve rapid performance improvement by competing against a self model representing previously unachieved performance. As a baseline, we constructed a self model of a player by recording their gameplay during the EXA game. In the equal challenge mode, players now competed against the self model representing their previous performance. To improve performance, players competed against the same self model, but with increased bike resistance, making it a harder challenge to keep up. This is called interactive feed forward. How effective is interactive feed forward in improving performance and maintaining an acceptable level of intrinsic motivation? Does it still work if players are aware of the increased challenge during interactive feed forward? We measured a player's performance improvement from baseline. We varied the awareness of a player giving either no cues about the resistance change, vague cues that the intensity may change, or full disclosure announcing when the exa game would be harder. Each line in the graph represents one of the awareness conditions. The points on the left show performance improvement when competing with a challenge equal to previous performance. The points on the right show performance improvement during interactive feed forward. Interactive feed forward led to statistically significant performance improvements in all conditions. Harder exercise has been shown to reduce pleasure. Therefore, it is unrealistic to expect interactive feed forward will improve intrinsic motivation. However, we can show that interactive feed forward will not make intrinsic motivation significantly worse than a justifiable margin using non inferiority testing. Non inferiority testing is an accepted method used in many clinical trials. The lines in the graph represent intrinsic motivation scores in the different awareness conditions for baseline, equal challenge and feed forward. Our results show that interactive feed forward is not inferior compared to baseline and an equal challenge in terms of intrinsic motivation. What if the self model is merely known as virtual competitor? We studied the effects of framing of the gameplay as either self-competition or as non-self-competition. Our results show that compared to non-self-competition, self-competition leads to better performance, higher intrinsic motivation, higher flow and higher immersion. All differences were shown to be statistically significant. Thank you for watching.